Oh, we're all over the place. I'm not used to this team. That's a wretch! Now this is my style. All right, who's next? This puts us at a disadvantage. All right, who's next? Knock him around and cut him down. We're playing. Rizal, do Matches the description Tort gave us, but. A shore in Hippionia where red flowers bloom, right? Maybe Tort tricked you guys. Either that or we came to the wrong place. Wait. I can feel a draft coming from in there. The inside must be hollow. Out of the way! It's open! What kind of a nasty person does something like that? Perhaps they sealed it up to keep fishy people like you from getting in. Whoa! You're really gunning for old Raven? Sometimes you can be so mean, Judith. Uh, What's wrong, Patty? It's nothing. I was just a little scared of the dark. You're scared of the dark? <laughs> you really are a kid. <laughs> Look who's talking. If you're scared, you can wait here. I'm fine. I'll go with you guys. that what are all these stones doing in a place like this it's so creepy wait these aren't graves are they maybe we really did come to the wrong place but even if that's the case why are there so many here why I can't believe how many there are. I never imagined we'd find a place like this while we were searching for the home of the Critia. <gasps> There's something written over there. Here lie the victims of the Black Hope Massacre. We mourn their deaths, and in this place, lay their souls to rest. These are all victims of the Black Hope Massacre! And these are the graves of people who were killed by Eifried? Yes, but I had no idea there could be so many. Patty! I... I... I never thought... Patty... No matter how you look at it, this is just too much. You can't expect a child to accept such a cold reality at her age. Hmm. I wonder who built these graves. Who knows? Maybe there were some survivors of the massacre. But... this is so horrible. I'm going to look for the key to Miorzo. You all should stay here. What? You're going by yourself? We can't bring Patty along when she's like this, can we? There aren't any signs of monsters here. We should go too. Repeat, take good care of Patty, okay?
looks like a dead end. Maybe the old man was right. We really did come to the wrong place. But there weren't any other shores with red flowers, were there? Do you mind if I take a look at that? Illusion be undone. It is I of the chosen people whom you have anxiously awaited. A door? What? What did you do? The Critians possess an ancient power known as the Nagig that can read the information in objects. I used that power to learn the secret phrase that would remove the enchantment that hid this door. I see. So this is what Tort meant when he said the door could only be opened by a Critian. Now, let's go inside. Could this be the key for the door to Miorzo? Yes. We were told it's a bell, so this has to be it. Still, why is there a graveyard in the cave where the bell was hidden? It's just a coincidence. Maybe. I bet the person who built that graveyard didn't know the bell was hidden here. I guess that's to be expected with the door being invisible. Maybe the person who closed the entrance to this cave was the one who built the graveyard. What for? Who knows? Maybe to prevent grave robbing. Or maybe there was some other reason they had to hide this place. It is true that Tord never said anything about the cave entrance. You might be right. So someone went to all the trouble of burying those people in such a remote location? Is that really all it is? I don't know, but we've got the bell we came for, so let's go back and see Patty. Yuri. Did Eifried really kill all those people? Maybe he did. Patty... That's the truth she was after. Yes, but she wasn't at all prepared for it. Right. Let's hurry back. We got what we came for. Can you stand up, Patty? We're going. Are you... going already? Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't push yourself, okay? Cypher... Can you come with us? Could she be... All we've got left to do is to ring the bell we just got in Agathor Forest. I agree. Yuri, I need to talk to you. What is it? I'd 
like to say goodbye to all of you now. It's time for us to part ways. You sure? Why so sudden? You don't like traveling with us anymore? No, that's not it. If you feel uncomfortable around us because of what you learned about Eifried, then... Just don't want to cause you guys any more trouble. Even if you don't mind, well, I do. Patty. What kind of nonsense is that? Rita? Every single one of these guys causes nothing but trouble. Do you really think you're any more of a troublemaker than the rest of us? Rita. If it's really just so you can focus on what you need to do, then I won't try to stop you. I... It'll be lonely around here without you. We've come this far together. There's no need to hold back. We crossed the desert and fought so many battles together. Besides, you don't need to give an answer here and now, do you? Plus, if you leave us now, we won't be able to pilot the ship and we'll be in real trouble. Why? Just think about it after your emotions have calmed down. You can pick what you want to do then. Until that time, though, why don't you come with us? Okay. All right! It's off to Agathor Forest! We just gotta get rid of those suspicious guys and ring the bell, right? Yes. Alright. No memories, no knowledge of what the geezer did, forced to face reality. It'd discourage anyone. Mm. She looks so miserable. What can I possibly say to help her? It's best to leave her alone for now. Ah, uh, repeat. <coughs> What's troubling you, repeat? <coughs> repeat. The thing is. Pooch is the best companion in times like these. I hope that she can find some measure of peace this way. This is Egathor Forest, a holy place for the Christian people. Huh, it's nicer here than I imagined. Not a bad spot at all. Whoa, really? I thought you liked being cooped up in cold dark labs and stuff. I wish I could have seen it in its original state. That must be the Blastia the Mystery Group brought with them. But that's a Hope Loan Blastia! What do you mean by Mystery Group? We weren't able to get any details, but Tort said he'd tell us how to get to Murzo if we did something about them. Would doing something include smashing that thing? I wonder. I suppose we could if there are no complaints. I'll fix it so there's no need for you to break it. Oh? I'll leave it to you then. Are you gonna rest on the ship? No, I'll go... <sighs> so, is Miorzo here? I wonder. I get the feeling it won't be easy to find. Nobody we talked to had even heard of a town called Miorzo. You'd expect to see more activity in this place if anybody knew there was a town here. 
The difficulty of the road might be responsible for that, though. Man, why'd the Critians have to go and build a town in a place like this anyway? Probably to avoid a lot of prying eyes. We're just gonna have to check it out for ourselves to make sure, then. I won't lose! Reaper Wavering Darkness! The sign of victory! Yeah. Oh, this enemy doesn't look so nice. Do we even have a chance? <laughs> But you're going bye bye. Yo, I gotta try and keep up. This area is currently under control of the Imperial Knights. The Royal Guard. This is the Commandant's private force of elite knights. What are the Commandant's forces doing in a forest like this with Hoplon Blastia? I have no reason to answer your questions. And civilian activity is restricted by law in this area. Hmm. Be that as it may, why are you pointing that weapon at us like that? Bring it on! This enemy doesn't look so nice. Do we even have a chance? And that escalated quickly. Well, we're off to a good start. So the mysterious group of people was the Imperial Knights. But why did he attack us? Maybe because they're doing something here that they don't want anyone to know about? You mean, with that Blastia? Maybe, yeah. Hmm. 
You said you were gonna come with us, so you better pull yourself together. <sighs> I know. Watch out! Estelle! What did you just do? Same as what she did in Helliard. Estelle's power took the air and made it dissipate. You've got to stop doing crazy things like that. I'm... I'm sorry. I just thought about how everyone was in danger, and before I knew it, my power... Her power is starting to unconsciously respond to her feelings. That last attack came from that Blastia. It was aiming straight at us. Which means that Estelle will end up using her power every time we're shot at. But then... What should I do? Hey, hey, you saved us, didn't you? Yeah, if that had hit us head on, we would have been goners for sure. We should be mad at the fact that they shot at us, not that Estelle protected us. We've sworn to settle Estelle's problems along with the world's problems. Everything we're doing right now is towards that purpose. We shouldn't let the details get in our way. But won't Pharaoh get mad if she keeps doing stuff like this? Whether it's by a Blastia or by Pharaoh, I don't want to be barbecued alive. Come on, this is simple. We just have to do something about that Blastia, right? That's right. Let's pummel the jerks who are controlling that Blastia! Alright, let's go. Try to keep a low profile. <sighs> If you keep standing around, we're gonna leave you behind. Stay close behind me, Estelle. My magic will protect you if they attack with the Hoplon Blastia. But you'd be putting yourself in danger, Rita. We're all in danger, so relax. Or maybe you don't believe I can do it. No, no! I'm just worried about you. Well, I'm worried about you. Those two sure have come a long way. Their little fights were fun, though. Oh well, I guess this way is healthier for everyone. Yeah, I think so too. Hey, Peanut Gallery! Shut up, or we'll leave you behind! She's still got a couple of rough spots to work on, though. Strong. Get ready for anything. The sign of victory. We got a head start! It doesn't seem fair. That didn't work. This? No.
It's them! Get out of our way! We do battle with all our might! Oh, flickering blades burn! Oh, incandescent burn! Now then, at least we don't have to worry about being shot at anymore. We might have stopped the knights, but we still gotta deal with this guy. Hmm. He's not a Hermes Blastia, but the formula's been encrypted. Care to explain in English? Basically, without a key to decode the formula, we can't turn it off. So I assume breaking the code isn't... No, it's not easy. Even if I could break it, that would take time. Hmm. Maybe if I... I don't think this will take much time at all. Wait! But you said... Help! What are you doing here? Perhaps he is this Blastia's engineer. No! I mean, I am an engineer and all, but I... I, I was just following orders! I, I swear I never wanted to get involved in something like this! Undo the code and stop this Blastia now! Yes, of course, right away! I'm sorry for surprising you back there. Huh. Duh. I knew right away you were only trying to make me jump. Oh? At least that's one problem down. Now we can go to Mjorzo once the weather clears. No! What is it? I could use your help here, kid. Uh, right. Should have known they'd have another one of these. Yuri, don't tell me you did that to keep me from using my power. Don't you think that was a bit reckless? Indeed. Do you have a death wish? This? This is nothing. Yuri, I'm sorry. It was my fault. Hey, you did the same for us before, right? Well, now we're even. But... Estelle, perhaps a simple thank you would do best. I... Thank you. Moving right along, we'd better do something about that other Blastia. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know... Hey! Ah! Fast little bugger. We better catch him quick. Please wait. Patty is... Rita, I'm sorry. I let him get away. Don't worry about it. I'll come up with something. Yeah, but you said it wasn't easy. As long as the knights aren't around, we don't have to worry so much about how long it takes. Besides, who do you think you're dealing with? I'm the genius mage, Rita Mordio. If it's me versus Ablastia, I'll win or die trying. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Uh, what are you doing? If we leave it like this, someone could use it again. I'll just make a few adjustments. I'm sorry. Ah, nothing shines quite so bright as a young person with something they're willing to risk their life for. For somebody who stood on death's doorstep, saying you'll do something or die trying isn't just a figure of speech. Huh? Death's doorstep? Didn't you say you almost died during the Great War? Huh. Forgot I mentioned that. Well, only the living have the privilege of saying they'll fight to the last breath. Words like conviction and resolve don't mean much to a dead man. Are you okay, old man? Here I am, running off at the mouth. I get a bit sentimental when I start digging up the past. Come on! Onward! Ready to go?
We'll destroy them in no time! Oh, Caprice, the innocent waters! Oh, Caprice, the innocent waters! All right, who's next? That didn't work! Oh, Caprice, the innocent waters! We must go on! I just keep. Get ready for anything. Wavering darkness! Wavering snare and deliver my enemies unto me! This? Your doom. Get ready for anything. We'll destroy them in no time. Let's go. I'm we sure have fought a lot of monsters. Yes, I thought by now they might be more scarce, but... <laughs> Sounds like something you'd think, Estelle. If we could wipe out all the monsters ourselves, we wouldn't need anything like barriers anymore. But why are there monsters anyway? So that people can defeat them, of course. I think that's a little extreme. Well, that's the only thing they're good for. I wonder. It seems there would be some good reason why they exist. There's no use thinking too hard about it. Get started on that train of thought, and you'll soon be asking yourself why humans exist. Yes, that's a good question, too. There you go, making things more complicated, old man. I was trying to get you to stop thinking about these things, not think about them more. Is everyone okay? I'll live. Me too. This time the old man looks a little worse for wear. Hey old man, wanna sit this one out? We can go on ahead. If you leave me behind, there ain't any place else for me to go. Come on, even Yuri wouldn't leave you here for good. And anyway, you could always go back to Altos, couldn't you? Hmm. There's always that, I suppose. 
They're... how do I say it? Not the same as you guys. Oh, really? <laughs> well, if you're okay, old man, let's get over to that Blastia before it recharges and attacks us again. Aye, aye. Roger that. We have a great opening now! It's nothing personal. <laughs> Get ready. I'm taking you down. You okay? Sorry, thanks. This? No, I feel this. Them. Destroy them! Destroy 